Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma Dark Risen. We're going to continue with episode 4. Now just a quick recap on what happens in episode 3. We had gone into the dungeon of the Pawns Guild. Yes, the Pawns Guild. And we got our butts whooped. So we're just going to continue on from there. Anyway, if you didn't see it, make sure you guys check out that YouTube card that appears on a video screen when you hover over it. You can tell that it's a YouTube card because there's going to be an eye on the top right of the video player. Just click that eye button and check out that previous episode, episode three, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Let's play. <gasps> Without further ado, let's get into the game. Prepare yourself for grueling battle. I know. I already know. These things are difficult. Now, if you don't remember what happened, I got my butt whooped. Over and over by the skeletons inside there. They're undead and they are very, very difficult to kill. There's a trick door. And you may see a new outfit on my dude. Very cool looking. I found it in my inventory and I didn't even know it was there. So we look really cool, but I don't think I'm going to keep it because it's a one piece set. I want to be able to mix, mix and match if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can't let them hit me or I'll die. Oh, you know, I could block. Which I didn't do very much of the last time. I could use my other moves with this one. All right. That was Flesh Skewer, by the way. Oh, here, a barrel. Yes, Marco, do it! Nice job. He's awesome. I gotta say, he's pretty good for a pawn. In fact, everybody's pretty good as a pawn. Wait, is that a person? I thought it was just, like, some dude. You know what? I don't know what I thought it was. Anyway, I didn't think it was an enemy. I thought it was some bum actually, just sitting on top of the barrels. Makes sense that they were actual monsters. Oh, jeez! Come on. What are you shooting at? Oh, there's something here. How about you would go down, huh? Why isn't he going down? It's difficult to push them. They're not getting pushed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is bad. Uh, let's go with hard spectres. I want to grab one of them and kick them off the balcony. Ooh, look! A giant coin pouch! It's a Cyclops though, right? What's that? Oh! That is not a Cyclops. What are you? He's too powerful. Hello! He doesn't even know we're here. It's more vicious than a Cyclops. But okay. Look at it. It's not even doing anything. Oh, goodness. Whoa! Uh oh, the butt is red. Why is the butt red? Wonder if I can lure it to the edge. It seems way too strong for us to take on. I'm gonna try to lure it to the edge. Oh my god. Oh yes! He went down. Nice. Why is his butt red? He's, he doesn't want to come over to me. Why does anyone want to hit me? Do I not have enough aggro for it? Come over here. 
Yes. We can knock it over. Yes. Woo. Is it dead? Strength in numbers awesome. It died on the way down. Well, that's one way to get rid of it. What is that? Is it quaking? Ooh, there are huge rocks over there. Let's use our environment. Oh, and it's pretty strong too. Come on. Come at me, bros. Take a rock! Whoa! There's so many of them! Oh crap. Oh, I almost died. Yeah, get off me. Oh, that thing can actually hit multiple things. That's good to know. Can I grab him from behind? Oh no! There are zombies afoot. Literally. I can't grab any of them. Oh, maybe this one I can grab now. Yes, I can. And throw you over. Get out of here. Mm, he died. So when they're like stumbling, you can actually grab them. Like this guy. Nope, just kidding. There. He's off balance. I can grab him now. Nope, I was just kidding. I can't tell when I can grab him or not. There we go. I think it's over. Oh, no, it's not. It's this guy, so... Oh. If you feel a foe your means, there is no shame in fleeing. Am I alone in wishing to be out of this place? Hmm. What's that? I have a pretty good team on my hands here. Oh. There were more rocks over here I could have used. That's okay. I might need them now. There, Undead warriors. Oh, and there's a lot of them. I think I hear them coming from behind, too. Nope, just kidding. They're very uh, persistent. Woo! They're so strong. Oh! I just did a weird move. Oh! Look at that! I just discovered how to use that other move. Oh. That's how you do that. Look at that. What what skill is that? I think that might be... That might be my takedown. You just gotta hold Y in this one, Dire Onslaught. You have to press X, wait for about a second before pressing it again to get the new pattern. Otherwise, it looks like this. That's the new pattern. This is the old pattern. This is the one pattern. This is the new pattern. Cool, huh? I wish they would have told me how to do it, but I'm glad I figured it out. Oh, I like the fireballs. Nice. Oh, it's like a door. Can I get over there? 
Oh, no, I can't. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, wanna look at, oh, nice. Two giant coin pouches and one large coin pouch. Yay, and a chest. Scale armor, oh, that sounds cool. Can I get up there? What's up there? Oh, what's down there? I'm gonna go up there. Nah, that's probably just crud. No, I'm gonna go up there. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh my god, I almost died. That was foolish. Anytime. But I'm gonna do it again. Oh, I almost made it. <sighs> what a queer feeling. Like a tugging at my soul. I almost made it. What is this again? Flame Servant's Throne? I got a port crystal. Ooh, yeah! I just remembered port crystals are items that allow you to teleport to it. So whenever you get it, you place it down anywhere in the map. Anywhere in Grancis, and it'll allow you to fast travel to it. You get several of them within the entire game, I believe. That's a really cool mechanic of this game if you think about it. You can place your fast travel points wherever you want. And then you can just pick it up if you get tired of that point and pick up somewhere else or put it down somewhere else. I feel heavy. Yep, I am heavy. I'm going to go ahead and give some over to my pawns. Why am I so heavy? There, I'm average now. On my way, like a tugging at my soul. I have no idea what that light is. My kind grows better able to serve the more we learn. <laughs> I totally forgot what this light's about. Oh, it actually wanted me to do something with it. Oh, I don't remember this. Well, vaguely. But not cool, man. Oh, wait, I do remember these. They don't die. So I'm just going to run. Every time you kill one head, two more grow in its place. So we're just going to book it. Book it and not look back. Is that it? No, it's not. Oh crap! Who died? Jonathan? Again? I move. Bye, Jonathan! I'm sorry, I'm not going back for you. Jonathan is gone. <laughs> and the three amigos survive. Oh my goodness. Jonathan died. Let's speak with Barnaby. Oh wait, Jonathan's right here. Oh. Cool. I'll heal your wounds. So that's good to know. Whenever your pawn is down, you can just go through a loading screen and they'll be right in front of you. Well, that's good. That would have been horrible if we had to go back for her. Anyway, we're done with that quest, thank goodness. Oh, what are these?
The rift stones you see are not eternal. As a risen, and pawns use them. Age after age takes time takes its toll. The slabs crumble with their otherworldly lights solidifying into small medallions. One could call them proof of the pledge between an arisen and his pawns. Arisen, touch this proof of to react and re le, rededicate yourself to your bond. Rift cluster. I wonder if they're rift clusters. Is that what they mean? I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. light in the furthest depths you say i see in truth even we pawns know precious little of the everfall i can say with utmost certainty though the light you speak of is newly come we cannot know if this small aberration will give rise to great calamity hence but the chance enough is called to take action we shall redouble our efforts here and keep vigilant for further signs of change. All right. So this is the pawn guild. What level is he? I'm looking at Marco. Level 18. Okay, not bad. Why do you keep wanting to talk? Why do you keep talking? Alive. I'm glad of both. Okay. I'm just taking a bunch of the notice board quests since they're all side quests. As necessity demands here at Beyond those gates lies the Duke's castle, I warn. Most of them are hunting hunting quests. Okay, and we're back from the rift. We went ahead and replaced Erica and Kip. Well, Erica's still the same person, but she now has a more updated pawn. And Kip is a new strider. Or I should say ranger, which is an advanced vocation. You can summon pawns as necessity demands. I think their specialty is using longbows. Everybody is at least level 20 in this in this party, except for Marco and me. Are you the arisen? I bring a message from the Duke himself. His grace has judged your feet in slaying the Hydra most long. To honor your noble works. You are hereby welcome to the Worm Hunt. You may now accept orders from Sir Maximilian, Captain of the Hunt. Bring this writ to Sir Maximilian outside the castle gates. He will instruct you further. The document confers the status of Hunter upon you. Carry it on your person, always. Okay, thank you, strange man. Oh, look at that. Oh, the tree is actually moving. Oh, is this Reynard? You're not Reynard. Just looks like him. All right, we're going to do a little bit of shopping and changing equipment. That's going to take a really long time, so I'll be right back. Okay, and we're finally done shopping. That took a really long time. Anyway, let's go ahead and do one more thing here before we end it. We're just going to go out here and fight some things. Grand Sword, the beating heart of all Grances. Let's pick a fight with these guys. Hey! Get him! Come over here! Wow! Oh, that was awesome! Oh, I just deflected him. 
I think that was my new skill. Where it deflects the damage or whatever. I'm gonna try it again. After I kill these guys. Somebody comes after me. Come over here. Oh, there's a, I think I just deflected him. But there's a perfect deflect, I think, that I can use. Oh, let me do it again. Nope, there's no perfect deflect. Oh, there you go. There is a perfect deflect. It goes in slow motion when it happens. And I think it might do more damage back to them. Not entirely sure. Anybody else? I want to battle more. Oh, there's something over there. There's a person up there. Oh, there's a person right here. The city holds every amenity. Kill them all! Taste my steel! Come on. Come get me. Ah! Blocked. Oh, crap. Ah! No! When was the last time I saved? Taste your comeuppance! We're back with the bandits that killed us earlier. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I think I bought these mushrooms. And other things. Woo! Dead. Oh, shackle. Are the prisoners? Whoa! That was awesome! Oh, they're no match for me. Not this time. That's all. Oh man, I hate to do this. But that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. And let me know what you guys think about it so far in the comments section down below. Don't be afraid to say anything. Please. <laughs> and as always, my name is Sulit. Have a good day or evening. And I will see you in the next video.